Choice. You want to lead us off? Do you have a translator? What's that? We have translator. Tell me we'll be here momentarily. Okay, perfect. We can start with Elliot, please. Yeah, Elliot, what did uh, what are, what did this like move mean for you personally as the general manager? Like to be able to like, kind of, you know, fans have been clamoring to get an attacker, and yeah. you finally had one and it seems like fans are really excited about it. What does that mean to you personally, and what do you think it means for the group? Yeah, look, it's a really, really exciting day for our club. Um, we, we've been building up to this moment for a long time. Um, you know, we've, we've put a lot of effort and, and, put a, and, and brought a lot of pieces together um, on our roster over the last several years, and, and, and all along knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, we needed, you know, we needed a striker. We needed, we needed one more piece. Um, and, you know, when, when we realized that that Chicho may be available and we may be able to get something done, we, you know, we jumped right on it and we were excited to get it done. And um, so, so look, it, it means a lot. I mean, it's obviously a fun day uh, for for us, you know, for me personally, for our entire team, everybody personally, and 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 honestly for the club. And it, and it's, I think. You know the excitement that the that the fans have. It's what we share, right? It's you know we <laughs> look. We want to we want to score goals. We want to win games. We want to we want to compete for for championships here. And so, um, you know, we feel like this is a piece that's that's going to push us in that direction. Sure. I was wondering if it, maybe you could just walk us through a little bit of the process of how it all went down. Uh, obviously, kind of unique with with Chicho being in MLS so recently and then going away for a bit. Um, what was the timeline? I guess kind of like yeah, this. Yeah, of course. So obviously, this one's, you know, this one's kind of unique. Uh, we it's no secret we've been looking for attacking players. Um, you know, since since the off season. Uh, frankly, since you know, since since Sergio Cordova left, you know, we knew that we needed to bring in a striker. Um, we had a handful of targets. You know, there were a lot of different things that we looked at, but but nothing that worked out in the in the primary window. Um, and honestly, you know, this deal kind of came about right after that closed. Um, it's without without getting into too many gory details, the the MLS roster rules and and the way that that everything functions, we actually couldn't have done this deal until this window. Um, because, you know, it, you know, obviously, look, Cheech was a guy that, that we know really, really well. And, you know, we had inquired about in the past. But the reality is when he was at LAFC, with all the mechanisms, and the, the only way to do that would have been to trade for him, and it would have been so prohibitive what it would have cost for us to do it, you know, that it would have had, it would have had knock-on effects on our roster for years to come. And so we just, we just couldn't do it. And so once he left and then and – then, you know, the opportunity was there to bring him back. We were able to do it in a way that's so that's so much more, you know, roster and cap efficient. And so we jumped at it. Um, you know, look, Cheech was a guy that we that we talked about. Like I said, we had we had inquired about, we had talked about uh, previously. But um, you know, just the timing. That's that's kind of how it came about. <clears throat> once once it started rolling, it moved pretty quickly. Uh, and and you know, you, you got to move quickly on these kind of things. So. Eh, Elliot, el, um, ha salido en los medios, no sé si lo puedes decir, pero que la cifra está en torno a 6 millones de dólares. Eh, llama la atención que el, el AFC vendió, digamos, por 6 millones y, y el Real Salt Lake lo trae por 6 millones. ¿Eso es cierto? Cifras, digamos, no es tanto me importa lo de los 6 millones, sino el que sea la misma cantidad. ¿Sorprende un poco eso? Eh, ampliar un poco esa información, si es cierta o no? Question is regarding to Chicho's transfer fee, rumor has it, it's for six million. What stands out to me is that LAFC sold him for about more or less, or at least the report says so, and then RSL brings him in for the same amount. Can you confirm the price and a little bit more on that? Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to confirm specifics, but I think, you know, look, it was, it was roughly, you know, I think equivalent. Um, I don't. I obviously don't know all of the 
all of the aspects of that transfer. Um, obviously, it involved MLS, so I can I, I have some visibility on some aspects of it, but not the whole thing. But more or less, yeah, it was it was about the same. Mm -hmm. So. Una otra pregunta. El, la traída de Chicho hoy es un un día que se ve que se necesitaba un nueve claramente, ¿no? Como ha ido el resultado, la, todos frustrados porque no nos faltó el gol. Um, es un salto eh, que realmente la, la franquicia quiere dar un salto de calidad y aspirar a algo más. Um, obviously, Chicho's arrival was a big deal. It is a big deal. It's a big day. We clearly needed a nine, specifically when it comes to the fan base asking for a nine. Do you see this as a step forward for the club to kind of improve overall and take those steps forward? Absolutely, a massive step forward. Any look, anytime you get, you get the opportunity to bring a player in of, of Chicho's quality. Uh, it's it's a massive day for the club. Uh, any club in MLS would be thrilled to have him. So you know it. It, it I, I believe that this is a transformational piece for our roster, um, and and a piece that is going to uh, that is going to help us in many many ways. It's going to help a lot of our young players. He's going to help a lot of, you know, uh, he's he's going to alleviate some of the burden on on the group. It's you know I think I think this is a piece that. Uh, that will have, you know, massively positive effects for a long time. La última cuestión, hay que esperar algún movimiento más para la ventana que todavía no se ha abierto. The window hasn't officially opened yet, but can we await another signing? <laughs> I don't think we're done. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna keep looking for another another piece or two. Yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> Elliot. Um, Obviously, the fans are really excited for Chicho. And this is a new beginning for Real Salt Lake because it's surprising to everyone how much is he spending now and players. Historically, this is not the amount of spending Real Salt Lake. This is the new beginning coming from the new owners because the people was asking all the time, new owners with the clubs in Europe, and Utah Jazz invest a lot of money and it's not good players coming. So, and you say now more things are coming. So this is combination MLS and uh, new owners. Yeah, no, it's look, it's a huge credit to the new ownership group. Um, the new ownership group has stepped up and, and, and invested in this club. And, and they've invested in the product on the field. Um, certainly, Chicho is an enormous part of that um, and, and, and probably the biggest piece to date. But I think it's, it's, it's also important to point out, you know, we've, they've, they've given us the, the ability to buy Andres Gomez, uh, Brian Vera, Jefferson Savarino last year. So, you know, they really have stepped up and, and they've invested. Uh, and they've invested, I think, I think in the right ways. Um, in a sustainable way for the for the club and and for the group. So uh, they you know they're really excited about where we're headed, uh, I believe. And and uh, yeah, like I said, we, we hopefully we're not done, and and we'll continue to to find some more pieces to to fill out our roster. We have not better things coming probably. <laughs> you know more than us. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know if we can start with Chicho. Yes, yeah. Chicho. Estabas mirando, eh, te saludo otra vez y hablamos hace rato, nuevamente la bienvenida. Este, ¿Te daba ganas de saltar al campo? <laughs> the question is, um, the question is, obviously you saw the game, were you just wanting to jump on the pitch and start playing? Sin duda, sin duda. Eh, vivir los partidos fuera del campo no, no es nada agradable, pero, pero bueno, eh, tengo un, un par de semanas para, para prepararme, para para estar bien físicamente, para poder ayudar al equipo y es, es lo que más quiero, eh, ganar partidos y sí, daban muchas ganas de saltar al campo. Without a doubt, watching and living outside the pitch is not great, but I have a few weeks to prepare it and to get adjusted and of course I'm very excited and looking forward to getting on the pitch. Chicho, ¿tienes alguna relación con algún jugador del Real Soleil? ¿Has estado alguna vez con algunos jugadores jugando antes en divisiones menores, en Colombia o en algún otro equipo? The question is, if you have any ties to any of the current players in the RSL roster, if you've played with any of the players before. Bueno, cuando estaba en, en, en Millonarios, eh, Andrés estaba en, en el equipo sub-20, entonces eh, no tuvimos, eh, digamos, prácticas o o partidos juntos, pero, pero siempre lo observaba en, en, en la sub-20 de, de Millonarios, es un grandísimo jugador que tiene un potencial 
eh, increíble y, y esperemos que, que pueda ayudarlo en, acá en Real Soleil para que, para que pueda dar un, un salto más en su carrera. When I was in Millonarios, Andres, he was in the sub-20, so we didn't necessarily play together, but I always observed from afar, he's a great player with amazing potential. My hope is that I'm able to help him here to continue expanding. Chicho, in primer lugar, bienvenidos. Um, cuando, te con, cuando te comunicaste con Real Salt Lake, ¿qué, ¿qué fue el proyecto pues, que te presentaron? ¿Qué fue lo que te decidió, ok, yo quiero venir a Real Salt Lake? When you initially made contact with RSL, what was it that made you want to be here? This is the team I want to play for. Bueno, hubo algo interesante en, entre ambas partes que, que es quedar campeón. Eh, eso no es negociable. El, el querer ganar títulos eh, es primordial. Y, y bueno, eh, el proyecto que, que me presentaron, las ganas que, que tenían de, de, de yo estar acá, eh, las ganas fueron mutuas y, y, y por eso es la felicidad de mí y de mi familia para poder estar acá. We both share the desire to win titles. We want to win a championship, and the project was as simple as they presented to me. They wanted me here, and obviously, I'm very happy to be here. My family is very happy, and I'm really looking forward to it. Y uh, hablando de ganando títulos, el, este club está de dos victorias a ganar un U.S. Open Cup. Está peleando por los playoffs. ¿Qué son tus metas para este equipo esta temporada? Ya que vas a entrar un poco al medio de de todo. Team is doing really well right now. Two wins away from winning an Open Cup. What are your personal goals? Bueno, eh, la meta principal es es quedar campeón. Es a, a lo que a lo que voy a aportar, a lo que voy a, a querer aquí. Eh, obviamente quiero aportar goles, quiero aportar asistencias, eh, quiero jugar bien partidos. Entonces eh, todo va encaminado a. a a que la preparación es, es lo fundamental y, y esperemos que, que todo se pueda dar, eh, ojalá sea con campeonatos. The goal, of course, is to be champion. That's what I want here. Obviously, I do want to score goals and get assists, but of course, preparation is key and fundamental, and we hope to do well. Chicho, bienvenido. Um, seis meses, digamos, de paso solamente por, por la Liga MX, eh, eso significa que, que algo no funcionó, decir que te sientes que no has, frac has fracasado allí o, o, o es que las expectativas eran de volver para acá, es decir, ¿cómo, cómo se puede interpretar eso? Spent about six months with Liga um, MX, what was the takeaway from that? Was it just something that did not work out? Was it a failure or do you consider it a failure? What can you tell us in regards to that? Bueno, eh, los planes de Dios son perfectos. Eh, si me tiene acá es por, por alguna razón. No pienso que, que fue un fracaso eh, mi paso por, por, por México. Eh, jugué cinco partidos de, de titular y, y anoté cinco goles. Entonces, eh, siempre intenté aportar eh, allí, siempre intento dar lo mejor de mí en, en donde estoy. Y bueno, ahora Dios me tiene acá y espero poder aportarle el máximo a este equipo. God plans are perfect, and if he has me here, it's for a reason. I don't consider my time in Mexico a failure. I had five games as a starter and five goals. I did my best, and now I'm here and hope to help the team. La última cosa, yo creo que tendrás también la responsabilidad de que este probablemente sea el fichaje más importante de la historia del Real Salt Lake. Es decir, vas a ser realmente la figura, la insignia de este equipo y de este proyecto. ¿Te consideras, digamos, con esa responsabilidad? Obviamente, with being a huge signing for the club, a record sign, um, do you consider this a responsibility for you to be a part of this club now? Bueno, la responsabilidad siempre va a estar, eh, siempre va a estar esa responsabilidad, pero pienso que la figura debe ser todo el equipo, el, el equipo debe ser la estrella en sí. Y, y es a lo, que, a lo que vengo yo a hacer, vengo eh, a ponerme el overall y, y trabajar fuerte para ayudar a mis compañeros, para que fortalezcamos el, el, el equipo y, y, y podamos eh, ganar muchos partidos, pero sí, claro que sí, sé la responsabilidad que, que genera el, 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 el esfuerzo de, de todos los directivos hacia, hacia mi fichaje y lo tomaré como tal of responsibility of course will always be there but I think it's really for the entire team the entire team is the star and I'm here to work hard and help my teammates to get stronger win many games but of course that responsibility is always a need that I will feel uh, Chicho, bienvenido eh, quería preguntarte algo con respecto nuevamente al tema de, 
de la Liga MX. Eh, bueno, es una liga que se le dificulta a muchos extranjeros. Quizás seis meses es poco tiempo para hablar de una adaptación. Eh, ¿Qué te hizo a ti el decir que querías volver a la MLS más allá del proyecto de Salt Lake? Porque muchos estuvo diciendo con respecto a tu adaptación en Pachuca que fue complicado para ti en el tema de la ciudad, del equipo. Eh, ¿Quizás eso te impulsó a querer volver a la MLS? Question is again in regards to Liga MX. Um, it's a league that's hard for many people. Six months is a very short time. What made you want to return to MLS beyond just returning or coming to Salt Lake? People did mention that in Pachuca you had a hard time. Um, can you give us any feedback on that? Bueno, es es un conjunto de de, de cosas que que generaron eh, la toma de decisión. Eh, lo primordial fue el proyecto que que me presentaron las directivas, eh, ese, ese, esa ambición hacia el futuro y, y obviamente eh, al, al comunicárselo a, a mi esposa y a mis hijos eh, están muy muy felices de, de estar acá y, y eso es una parte muy importante para mí. Many things happened that generated my decision of leaving and what I was presented here. That ambition towards my future has a lot to do with it and my kids and wife are very happy and wanted to be here and that was a big part of the choice. Bueno, también eres un jugador que ya fue campeón en MLS hace eh, no mucho tiempo. Tienes esa experiencia, ¿de qué manera vas a tratar tú de transmitir esa vaya, esa experiencia a tus compañeros y saber que es posible el coronarse, quizás no esta temporada, pero en el futuro cercano con Real Salt Lake. What are you going to bring towards the team in terms of your experience? You are a recent champion who won recently. What are you bringing to the team from that aspect? Bueno, eh, ¿por qué no que sea esta temporada? Esta temporada me, me encantaría. Eh, tenemos el, el equipo, tenemos eh, eh, experiencia con juventud que combinan súper bien, entonces... Eh, no hay excusa, solo queda trabajar, trabajar y, y, y poder obtener eh, un título lo más cercano posible, es lo que, lo que ambiciono aquí y, y, a lo que, y a lo que quiero. I want a title this season, not next season. I think we have a good team here, we have the experience, there's honestly no excuse, we just have to continue to work hard, work hard together and get that title as soon as possible. Hey, Chicho. Um, obviously, you've been in Salt Lake for just a short amount of time. What are your first impressions of the city here and uh, of the team? Obviamente, muy poco tiempo aquí en Salt Lake. Tus primeras impresiones de la ciudad y del equipo. Bueno, eh, me sorprendió mucho su gente. Creo que, que tienen un, un gran calor humano aquí en, en, en Salt Lake. Entonces, me sorprendió mucho su gente. Eh, me sorprendió su energía en, en el estadio. Eh, vi muy, muy bonitos paisajes eh, mientras ater aterrizaba entonces eh, muy contento, muy contento con mucha ansiedad obviamente de, de poder estar en el campo pero, pero bueno, a, a prepararnos bien Yeah, they're all very amazing, the fans and just the people overall really surprised me, the stadium, um, the beautiful scenery as I landed that I was able to see, I'm just very happy and ready to get out there Uh, we've seen your, your skill set in previous games that you've played, but what do you think the biggest thing is that, that you bring to a team like Real Salt Lake? ¿Qué piensas que es lo más grande que traes al equipo aquí con Real Salt Lake? ¿Cómo? Lo más grande que traes de tu calidad de juego. Bueno, soy un jugador que, que, que no va a, a regalar una gota de sudor, que siempre se va a entregar al 100% eh, hasta que su cuerpo no, no dé más. Y, y bueno, eh, espero poder aportarle goles y asistencias que, que es lo que llevan a, a, a ganar partidos, es lo que más deseo. I'm a player that simply doesn't give up. I give 100% and I give my all and of course I just hope to score goals and help with assists. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have someone via Zoom. John, if you have a question for Chicho or Elliot. I have a question for both Elliot and for Chicho. Elliot, what, when you had a chance to look at all the available attacking players that you could add to this team, what made Chicho seem to be the right fit? We know the skill set he has, but what do you think specifically he'll bring to Salt Lake that will make him successful? And Chicho, when you look at the roster and you see how many talented players there are, 
uh, Jefferson Sabarino and Anderson Julio, to name a couple. What makes you excited about playing with players of that caliber? Let me go. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I think Chicho's a very well-rounded striker, and, and he's, a, he's a dynamic player who uh, we know can score goals in this league. Hey, we know he can score goals in this stadium. <laughs> <laughs> he's comfortable doing it. Um, so, uh, no, he's, he's, like I said, he's really well-rounded. He's dynamic. He'll combine really well with the talented players we have. I believe, I believe we have, we have a group um, of, of attacking players who are, who are creating a lot of chances. Uh, and, and we just need that little extra bit. And, and like he said, you know, he's never going to give up. He's never going to quit on a play. And uh, and he's got the quality to the, the quality to finish at the at the end of the day as well. John, do you mind repeating repeating the question one more time for Chicho? Sure, uh, Chicho. When you look at this roster and you see players like Jefferson Savarino and Anderson Julio, just to name a couple, what excites you about? playing with a roster this talented and playing with players of that caliber. Chicho, cuando ves a la lista de jugadores que tienes aquí en Real Salt Lake, ¿qué es lo que te emociona? Por ejemplo, tienes a Jefferson Saverino, um, a varios. ¿Qué es lo que más te emociona de este equipo? Bueno, su calidad de jugadores creo que, que puede ser importante para, para yo poderme destacar en el, en el frente de ataque. Eh, logré estar con Musovski y hacíamos química extraordinaria en, en tanto en los entrenamientos como en los partidos entonces eh, ver este conjunto de, de jugadores que, que en el frente de ataque y en el medio eh, generan tanto fútbol eh, me da me da esperanzas a, 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 a poder marcar muchos goles a, y a poder disfrutar de, de, de estos lindos partidos quality of players is very important for us to be able to do well in the attack, to see this group of guys who generate so much football, so much soccer, it gives me hopes to be able to score a lot and enjoy this game. I have a question so many times that people are asking us, ask their Spanish media, asking, I would like to look at this question to you because I think I know the answer, but I just want to give it to you that this point. All the time, the, most of the Spanish population is Mexican, I can say probably 80%. And, uh, you know, the MLS use a lot, and most of the teams use a lot of marketing, you know. And uh, part of the marketing and money too, it's some players. The Mexicans are asking all the time, hey, asking when a Mexican is coming here. So it's not because it's a Mexican, I know. But maybe sometimes you guys was thinking about that, so probably. Yeah, you know, look, the the reality is, with me and my group, we don't we don't focus on any specific country, any specific market. Um, you know, uh, Chicho Chicho's our third Colombian this year, so you know it. But but I don't think we 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 certainly didn't enter the off season uh, looking at it that way. Um, as for as for Mexican players, and we you know we've had we've had a handful of of me Mexican players in the past uh, who've done really well for us. You know Carlos Salcedo, for example, um, and uh, you know I would expect that we'll have we'll have plenty more Mexican players in the future. Uh, the, the reality is, I think I think a big part of it is their domestic league uh, economically is you know competes or 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 is ahead of ours at, at times in terms of yeah and so you know from an economic standpoint it those deals aren't always as easy to do as as they often are in in south america um you know in in south america it, a lot of a lot of those markets are are much more interested in selling and generating revenue that way uh and so you know i think that's that's a part of it it's not all of it um so I, you know, I don't, I don't know when we'll have another Mexican on the roster, but I, I'm sure we'll have one uh, in the not too distant future. Thank you very much. I just want to transfer to you the question because all they all the time bother Hey, <laughs> ask me also like when, when. So well, I knew the answer. Of course. Well, we we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of great Mexican American players in our academy. Um, a lot of them who represent the the Mexican youth, na youth national team. So I imagine at the very least we'll see some of them on the field uh, in the not too distant future. Thank you very much. Congratulations for this. 
good player you guys have. <laughs> I hope we won't come in more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.